Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Tisha. And today we are going to do a little compilation video of three videos I've been working on. But as I told you guys, this week's been crazy. First and foremost, we hit a thousand subscribers. We meaning you guys continuing to support this channel. It was a really big goal of mine. I wanted to do it by the year mark, which would be February. So I did it like in half the time and I just really appreciate you all. So cheers to you. That's also because I just finished my week of training and it was a lot. It was six hour days of talking. So if my voice sounds a little crazy, it's just because I have spent the last three days um, doing at least six hours a day of training, but a lot got done. A lot of people feel really good about the start of their school year. So I feel very accomplished. So we're going to jump in. I have a really teeny tiny little haul. I have a little wish list. I've been planning to do another like sip and shop, but this time we're going to combine it. And then I did pull and I've been meaning to um, film some recommendations for the candle sale this weekend. I'm going to post this by Friday. Um, this is Thursday evening. So big goals. And then I also have some that I would avoid. Um, so we're going to jump in because it's going to be a long video. But again, thank you all so much for subscribing and commenting and liking this video and sharing me on your channels. I want to repay you back all in some way. Um, I'm going to work on some kind of little small giveaway um, very, very soon. So now that I got that crazy week, I can get a little bit more creative and you will see a video about that very soon. So this is just my first, like it just happened this week. So this is the first like, yay. And I've seen your comments. You, you guys are so sweet to say, you know, congratulations to me because I didn't really do it. You guys did, but I just really appreciate all the support. I really never cared about how many people watch my channel, but I, it is nice. I love goals. So I love setting a goal and I love that I crushed my first one. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But let's jump into this little haul that came in the mail. I think yesterday. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a blur. I did place an order for some of the hand sanitizers at the school. So I keep one in my bag, one in my desk. Everyone at work loves that I love Bath and Body Works. So I grabbed these, but they were like $3.25. Um, so this is the thousand, a thousand wishes. Um, this one smells really good, but I'm not going to smell these just because this one's rattling. I wonder what, if that's okay. I did. I just took the plastic off. Um, but yeah, I sure it's fine. I'll check it out anyway. They smell really good, but you have to wait for that alcohol to drive down. So I'm not going to bother like opening these all up and trying them. And again, just because I'm going to take them with me. So I'll be going through these pretty quickly. I grabbed a sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Um, again, people will come to my office just looking for good smelling stuff. And then I grabbed a champagne, apple and honey. So I like being known for that at work. And um, I also just in that order placed um, a buy three, get two shower gels. I just wanted some shower gels to go with some of my new other body care. So I got two of the blueberry sugar pancakes. I really enjoy this scent. This is going to be a fall staple for me. Sugared blueberries, fresh pancakes and caramel cream drizzle. I love the blueberry and the caramel mixed together. It's just so fall. I love it so much. So I grabbed two of this um, scent and then I also grabbed, this is my other favorite scent. So these are, these are contenders. I'm telling you, I'm making a ranking video. It's got like 17 cents in it been working on it and I'm getting pretty close to being done with it and these two are really high up there. I really enjoy the Sunrise Woods. I thought Pinkberry Clouds would be my favorite but this is definitely more of my favorite. It's creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere and I'm still I haven't actually placed my order. Today was just too crazy at work to place an order for the candle sale. I have a cart full um, but I'll get into that with my wish list. but um, I wish they had this in a candle. This would be a beautiful candle. It's kind of like a thousand wishes for me not meaning it smells the same, but I just can tell that this would be a beautiful scented candle. So ah, there's that. And then I got two more. Again, this was a tiny haul. That's everything in that box. I did get a pumpkin cupcake. As you guys know, these are online exclusives, just the um, blueberry sugar pancakes and the pumpkin cupcake. But I just really enjoy this body care. So I'm waiting for another body care sale. I redeemed rewards for most of the fine fragrance mist. So I skipped out on that $5.95 sale because I had pretty much everything at that point. This is just like a delicious gourmand scent. It's even more gourmand to me than the blueberry sugar pancakes. It is a whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and vanilla cake batter. I really like 85% get the vanilla cake batter, buttercream, and maybe a slightest hint of pumpkin. And it's so hard for me to detect the pumpkin, but it really smells good. It kind of the, the buttercream with the cake batter, it gives it like that cream cheese kind of 
um, frosting smell. I really like it. So yeah, I just grabbed one of these though, and I don't mind the packaging. It is a little weird that it's like a mint color, but I'm okay with that. And then I did like this scent too. So I grabbed a Wicked Vanilla Woods and I hope you can tell, um, you know, I don't have lighting and all the things, but this is super cool and iridescent, like the inside. Um, I wanna see what color it is. It's like a gray with like, I don't know if I can even, yeah, like it's like iridescent gray. It smells really good. Um, the, the cap is like a nice matte black cap. Um, I only grabbed one of these. It's Magical Vanilla Glowing Amberwood and Enchanted Pink Pepper. But yeah, I think, you know, I really like this body here too. So I just grabbed those to kind of pair everything up. And then before I give you my candle recommendations, I'm just going to quickly go through a little wish list that I had. I had totally planned another one of those sip and shops. I actually called it sip and shop part two because I've been writing down a lot of things that I want. Um, so we'll see what comes to pass because again, I've kind of already got a lot of stuff off this wish list. Um, but I always follow Tess from Life Inside the Page Daily Finds. I will link her in my description box to give her credit. So you got to go check out her blog post um, on Instagram. There's a link in her bio. Every day she posts news. That's where I found out about the candle sale. Um, so I just made a short little list. It's gotten shorter over time because I've been buying things off this list. So I don't want to share them with you after you've already seen me haul them. That's kind of weird. So I still want to to find some Halloween decor. I know I told you guys I'm gonna uh, probably go to a Target or I mean we have like a Marshalls and a Home Goods in um, a town really close where my Bath and Body Works is. So I'm gonna probably go there as well. But like this morning I was looking for candles and I had the glass skull in my cart and I really feel like I'm gonna be happy with just one. One of the three wig pedestals will make me happy. I have gotten a few little things as you've seen. Um, I do have a Halloween haul that will be coming though, just with some other little pieces, but not, I didn't get anything cool. So it's not like it's gonna be its own separate video, It'll just be with something else. Um, but yeah, it was in my cart and I was gonna check out and then it was sold out. And I'm like, I'm gonna try again tomorrow. So I'm holding off on the candles I wanna buy just to see if they restock in the morning. Um, and I still wanna find that haunted house plug from last year. I should have just jumped on it when I saw it. Um, I'll be happy if I could find the candelabra. But I would just love with the 20% coupon I'm using if I could grab one of the things I really, really want. So I'm not looking for all and I'm not even looking for the most like coveted items anymore. Like the witch's hand would be cool, but I'm okay. Like I still fully plan to have a video in September, maybe like the beginning. I won't make it too late so you can still find these things, but just some different decor that I found that I can tie in with my candles and other fragrance items I've gotten from Bath & Body. I still am really kind of interested in the Homebody collection. And again, I don't have any of these items, so I'll be popping up some pictures over here just so you can see what I'm talking about. The ones that intrigued me the most were Misty Morning and Cozy Evening. And you guys know I don't get into the wellness collection a ton, but um, those notes, I can't remember, I didn't write them down. They kind of really um, spoke to me as more like relaxing and calming things, but not necessarily like wellness or aromatherapy. So I think I'm gonna try those once I see them in my store. And I haven't had time to go to store for a week at least. So I know I'm like the worst Bath & Body Works channel this last couple of weeks because I'm just reviewing what I already have here at home. Um, but there will be some new stuff coming soon. So three wick candles that I already have on my list. I won't tell you what I'm getting because I haven't bought it yet. Um, I'm kind of one, I don't know, Open Sky and Autumn Adventure are candles I've never tried before. Um, and they kind of both sound interesting to me, but I don't really love Open Sky and the body care, but I keep hearing that it's different. Like it does, it is different. And so, I mean, I got a mini, so I'm not upset, but I decided I was probably not going to buy any of the full size. There's just something about Open Sky that doesn't like work with my chemistry, if it makes sense. Like it just smells a little like, hmm, what is that? Like almost like it has an ozone note that doesn't work on me where I've worn things that have that kind of a scent. Like maybe the fresh air is like an ozone note, but I can smell it on me. It doesn't smell bad, but it's not something I like. So I don't know. I'm, I really am kind of interested in that open sky candle. Um, Autumn Adventure also is interesting. And then Harvest Pomegranate, really, really interested. As well as I think it was posted this morning, the white collection, like there's, um, I think there's like a vanilla chai, but hmm, I should have probably wrote these down. I just put down the white pumpkin collection, like white pumpkins, one of them I do want, I want to get my pumpkin candles. Now the cutest set I feel like are these white jarred and, um, you know, with Halloween, I have plenty of Halloween. I feel like I don't need a ton, but we'll see what happens. Um, 
So white pumpkin oak wood maybe, or I might be mixing two up. There's like the perfect autumn, which I saw in like the bandana packaging, but I kind of like it better in the white, like the white, not white barn, but the white uh, packaging with the pumpkins on it. There's a couple other ones that are online exclusives too, like maple bourbon, I think. And then like, I want to say like vanilla chai or maybe it's vanilla chai tea, but, um, and then I saw this morning they have, and I'm going to recommend it, um, peach and vanilla tea in that white style packaging. And that was one of my favorites. So those are on my wish list. We'll see what I pick up in my haul. And then I saw a list going around of some wall plugs that were really interesting. I think they're in fall too, um, but it's the um, Old Fashioned Cider Donut. Yep, definitely gonna try that. Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun, possibly like Pumpkin Snickerdoodle. There was a whole bunch of gourmand scents that are coming and like I will be stocking up. Those sound awesome. I also still wanna get a lot of the body creams or lotions for some of these scents. I have not got any of them. So that is still on my list to get is like a, uh, I like body creams more, but I want to get like a mix, like lotions and body creams. I carry a lotion more. I take those to my office more, but I use the body cream like every day. So I still have that on my list to get. Um, but I have all the fine fragrance mist I need for all the fall scents so far. Um, but I do want to try Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is the last scent that's been sneak peeked, and it's got like pomegranate and apple, maybe? No, vanilla, no, I think orange. Maybe orange blossom and vanilla. I don't know. It's the packaging's got me, the name's got me, but the scent notes are not deterring me. So I would really like to try that Fairy Tale body care in floor set too. And then the last couple of little things, I saw that the A uh, Thousand Wishes, which I did get in this, is coming out in a hand soap. I'd like to get like six of those because I just love that scent. Um, also, I really want that little like s'mores um, visor clip. I don't really do a ton with the car fragrance. They just they don't last that long for me, but I really want that. So I'm in the, on the hunt for that little s'mores guy or the next online order I place. And then the leaves soap holders, I didn't get my hands on any of the Halloween ones. I thought those were kind of cute, but I just didn't want to pay $25 for a skull that I would only see when I wash my hands in the bathroom. So I was like, nah. And then the haunted house one, like everyone got it broken. So I just, I didn't. I mean, that one I think is actually in stock today, but I didn't because I think like our friend Cynthia here got like two out of four broken. And, um, yeah, I just hate that. I hate getting broken stuff. It happens to me a lot. And I don't know who is it, the people that pecked. I think it's a little bit of responsibility there. I've also seen the delivery man, bless his heart, because his job looks really hard, talking on his phone and drop a package right in the street. Not mine, but, like, so mine has been dropped more than likely somewhere. <laughs> so those are just, you know, that's my worry. I'm like, uh, why order something that I have to then reorder, call somebody, you know, all the things. So I don't know about that, but that leaf one looks pretty safe for shipping. So that's my little tiny sip and shop, which is, I'm gonna take another little sip real quick. Because I really just, oh, my dog is having a day. I just think the neighbors next door are doing a lot of things. <laughs> so he, he just keeps doing that little bark. Um, anyway, back to this. So my recommendations for this sale, I have a lot over here. You guys have been seeing me do some current burn reviews, so I won't go too far in depth, but I really enjoyed Cozy Cashmere. This one has notes of lavender, vanilla, pink jasmine, comforting sandalwood. Now, it wasn't the strongest thrower, but it did put off a nice it did put off a really nice throw, um, just, you know, in a bedroom space. So I really enjoyed this one quite a bit. Um, also, I wanted to recommend, of course, this is the new Wild Berry Jam Donut of the fall. It's iced dragon fruit tea. It's notes of tropical dragon fruit, vibrant green tea lemonade, sweet coconut milk. It's amazing. I have two and I already, ordered. Like, there's one in my order. I love this one. I don't know what it is about this. This is just definitely going to be in my top 20 of the year. Sorry, my dog's still barking because people are peopling outside. Let's see what other, oh yeah. Um, so I did try a lot of this uh, Farm Fresh collection. The banana walnut muffin, I don't believe it was everyone's favorite, but I quite enjoyed it. So if that's something that, you know, you're not really ready for pumpkin, this is sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard people say they felt like it was a synthetic banana, but I feel like I think it could be a little bit more authentic, but I really do like this candle burning. So I wanted to throw it in the recommendations, but if you're just going to get one foodie candle, you got to get pineapple upside down cake. I mean, pineapple pound cake. 
This is amazing. I'm really thinking about getting another backup. I just really like it and it's different, but it also feels like a nice transitional season candle. Like I feel like I could burn this right now into fall and I don't feel like it's out of place. Um, there's no summer pineapple in here. This is a very gourmand pineapple and I really do like the way the cake smells. I just, like my grandma, this is one of her favorite desserts to make. So of course, you know, I'm like, oh, this just gives me another scent memory. I'm always gonna talk about that guys. But, and it wasn't even my favorite cake, but that's what this is reminding me of. So I burnt through my first one. This is the only one I have and I thought about backing it up. Something you might not think of, like I've been talking this one up, but I really enjoy it. And I saw it on the website this morning, so I had to pull it. It's A Thousand Wishes. It just smells so good if you like the body care. I don't think you will be disappointed in this candle. It's really nice on cold. It just, it gives me, I don't know. I don't want to burn this till I order another one. This is the only one I have. I've really thought about getting two just because I really like it and it's not something you can buy in store. So I don't know if I will, but I really do enjoy this. So if you enjoy the body care, it's sparkling champagne, crystal peony, and almond cream. It's so beautiful in a candle. This was another bedroom one that I really enjoyed burning. I kept like running home to light my candle. You know what I mean? And then of course, this is the time to get your Halloween candles. My favorite of all of the candles is Wicked Apple, probably followed by Vampire Blood. I haven't burnt my Vampire Blood. Um, I did start a Wicked Apple, but I am saving them because I'm not going to back them up. But it's a good time to get yourself one of whatever you think you'd like. I mean, Haunted Nights kind of smells a little bit like mahogany teak wood. And then pumpkin carving, just very spicy, like very, very spicy cinnamony pumpkin. Um, and then if you know Ghoul Friend or um, Vampire Blood, I do prefer Vampire Blood, but they're very fun candles. The packaging's really gorgeous. There's all of those over there, but Wicked Apple by far is my favorite. And it is Ghostly Green Apple, Creepy Caramel Drizzle, Vicious Vanilla Bean. I've gotten this in hand soap. I've got this in the Walmart plugs. I'm super set, but I really like this. And they really did this fun like wallpaper haunted house packaging. So again, if you don't get fun candle holders, I got those marble ones. I think these are gonna look really cool um, for Halloween and the lid's super cool too. So let's see, I had a couple I didn't have on my list, but um, oh, pumpkin pecan waffles. I want that in the new, like the air bandana packaging. I haven't heard anyone review that one, but the one I got from this collection was really decent. I don't know if I've done my review yet on that. I'll have to check. Um, vanilla peach tea. They have one in that new white pumpkin packaging, and I love that candle. It came out in the spring with like an orange coral stripe around it. So unique. There's just something so unique about the blend of the vanilla and the peach tea. I don't know. I really, really like that one. And then I'm going to get a Harvest Pomegranate. That is a really delicious um, fall scent. It's such a fall fruit vibe. Like I can't really describe it more than like, it's got like a pomegranate, plummy, apple, kind of almost like there's a little bit of leaves in there, or just like you're out in the orchard or the fruit places, farm stand, P picking out your own items. Um, so I really enjoy that one. Um, I think that's it for my recommendations. Ones to avoid. Hold. Okay, I had to go get this candle because I had to show you, because, because, I've been talking for a lot these few days. I had to show you what this candle has done over the course of time. Do you see how dirty and black this is? This candle has burnt so hot and so high the entire time. I have watched this candle. It does still smell good, that I'm happy with. Um, I thought the scent would be gone, how hot it was burning. Sorry, I didn't even tell you what it was. I just jumped right in. It's Honey Wildflower. I did review this one. And in the first couple of um, burns, the flames were like over the top for most of the first burn. I was like, yikes. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. However, I don't know the secret to how you would keep this clean. I know you can clean it, but why? Why? Um, it's crisp pear, fresh wild, pear, wild, wild flower, sweet honey. The notes are crisp pear, fresh wild flower, and sweet honey. I don't know what I should do this after I talk for six hours. Um, but it's a nice scent and it actually has picked up a tiny bit over the course of the candle. But look at this guy. I've had to watch it so it doesn't like catch on fire. I'm not recommending Honey Wildflower. I really love the body care, but that candle, I've never had to babysit something without getting paid but so, so much of my life. Okay, so Toasted Coconut Cupcake is not a bad candle. If you're out there searching for that basic candle, this is your girl. It's sweet coconut, toasted almond, and fluffy vanilla cake. 
it's a coconut vanilla scent. It's not bad, but it just didn't really do anything with all the new candles. I'd rather try those. And I have to say, even though I know I just put my review up and this was very, not controversial, but my pumpkin donut shop, as you guys saw in the video, didn't perform very well. Looked pretty gross in the jar. Um, so you'd have to shop online for this one, but if you were, I don't know, that's up to you. It just smells like a sweet bakery scent. It's, there's nothing special about it, nothing fall about this one at all. Okay, friends, I think that wraps up this video. I'm losing my voice, I think. I showed you my little haul. I gave you my little wish list, and I gave you some recommendations for the sale. If you have a 20% off coupon, that'll bring the candles down to like $10, which we know that's a price I like to see. So you should expect to see a pretty big haul coming on this channel. Um, but again, just thank you, thank you, thank you for a thousand subscribers. I'm going to do a little giveaway very soon. I'm going to make it something easy, um, but I have to figure that out and then I will post it for you guys and we'll figure it out together. But thanks again and I can't wait to hear what you guys got from the sale. Um, if you're participating, I know some of us are still waiting, but I will be bringing that haul very soon. Thanks again, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.